Welcome to Edinburgh, where records show that people have been homemaking and house hunting for at least 7,000 years. Edinburgh is Scotland's number one tourist attraction and the locals love it too. In this buzzing metropolis, Euro chic cafe society goes hand in hand with neoclassical architecture and brooding Celtic mystery. Right now, the Edinburgh property market is exploding. The establishment of the Scottish Parliament and the rapid influx of new businesses means that after London, this is the UK's most expensive city to buy a home, ancient or modern. Edinburgh's a magical city. It's got a bit of everything. It's got the festival, which is exciting and vibrant. It has tons and tons of history. It's great. <laughs> Could write a book. Properties range from stately Georgian and busy Victorian near the city centre to open plan purpose built living in the docks area. But Siobhan and Danilo have their own very definite ideas of what they want. I really, really want a garage so I can pursue my hobby, which is to get myself a classic car. So that's the first criteria. I'm looking for a garden, somewhere to relax on a Sunday afternoon and read a book. And a garden's the second. Sounds simple enough, but they've already looked at 30 properties and failed to find what they need. They know what they want and are prepared to hold out until they get it. I'm sorry, I'm fussy. <laughs> so time for Kirsty and I to meet our fussy buyers, Siobhan and Danilo, and check we've got the brief just right. For me, it's two bedrooms, mm -hmm. um, a very nice area. Um, and somewhere I could be very homely and happy and for quite some time. And I very yeah. specifically want a garage with this. <laughs> right. Mm. Yeah. So that's a non-negotiable. Absolutely not negotiable at all. Must have a garage. So what exactly are they prepared to spend on their house, garage and garden? Well, in theory, mm. we've got a budget of about 200,000. That's quite a toughie. That's a, it's a real death. <laughs> <laughs> £200,000 might sound a lot, but if you're after a garage and a garden in the heart of town, you might be cutting down your choices. Here, a garage alone can add 20% to the price and a garden another 30 But we've managed to find six properties that could just fit the bill. The first is in the exclusive conservation area of The Grange, two miles south of the city centre. It's the garden flat of an old Victorian villa with three bedrooms and its own entrance at the side of the property. It's on for offers over £160,000, which with the Scottish system of buying means that the vendors could be expecting at least £190,000. Come in, come in, come in. It's got the garden, it's got the garage and even an extra bedroom. So what will they think? It's really, really nice. Um, there are a few 70s styly things that would have to go. Two bathrooms, three bedrooms. Um, you know, big garden, so it's got lots of space. Two bathrooms, that's twice as much cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These rooms were once below stairs, the scullery, kitchen and pantry for the big house. The layout has stayed largely the same, and you'd expect it to be dark down here, but for a basement flat it's remarkably light and airy. It's slightly smaller than I would have expected, um, but then there is a heck of a lot of character as well. Well, it's bijou. <laughs> no room to swing it's a mouse. Extremely bijou. And they're not so sure about the dimensions of the kitchen either. It's quite small. It's really, really odd. Obviously, they've spent money on it and it's quite nicely designed. The table and this is both well, that's six inches less than it's you'd normally find. It's so strange. The hob and the table are both unusually low. Siobhan and Danilo would need to raise them. Although customising a kitchen needn't be too pricey, this one could be fixed for around £200. Would they want the trouble? Now, this is my favourite room in the house. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's fantastic. This is what you see every day when you get mm -hmm. up and go into your living room. Mm. And it's a fantastic. It's Should we take well, out the garage? But the garage isn't quite a garage, at least not yet. A bit lacking in walls. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit think? lacking it's, in walls. Uh, uh, well, your car would fit in, nice. but obviously yeah. it's sort of slightly more exposed to the elements. It might be a bit chilly in the winter. Yeah. Oh. He wants the garage to do work in, mm. essentially. Right. Mm. So what we've got to find out was if it would be possible mm -hmm. to build a mm. garage here. If it, if it was possible to build a garage here, would you think about doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. The first thing to do in this kind of situation is get on the blower to the local planning office to find out the lie of the land. Ah, because it's a conservation area, it's far from straightforward. With no guarantees, Danilo won't be so keen to part with his cash. Well, thank you. We knew it was going to be hard, trying to find a home in the city centre with a garage attached. 
Now these lockups are very close to our next property and at £15,000 we thought them worth a look. Would you be happy to buy or rent a garage? I, I think I'd only go for this if the, if the flat of the house was absolutely ideal. So on to the flat itself then. It's in a smart part of town just a few minutes walk from the city centre. Clarendon Crescent is a drawing room flat with two bedrooms, recently renovated and on offers over £145,000, which means that it would probably sell for at least £25,000 more. But that would still leave them plenty to buy that lock-up around the corner. It's rather large. Mm -hmm. It's rather beautiful. Mm. Absolutely stunning. Five sums points. up Edinburgh, really. Yeah, it does. This flat has just come onto the market and we are the first to see it. So there are signs that it isn't yet finished. Very nice. Yes. Mm. Very modern, but very it's stylish. Like a no, I yeah. like it. Mm. I did notice too as we came in, there's still all the plastic on here, which it's a um, mark of somebody who's just done it up to sell. Yeah. That would be my guess. Some of the skirting board in the hall's missing too, but it's not a big issue. Unfinished work can indicate more serious problems. Keep your eyes peeled. However, you can always specify in your offer that any incomplete jobs are attended to before you exchange contracts. In this room, I suddenly realised there's no heating at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the, the, the fire is not real. Ah. It's completely <laughs> shut up. Yeah. I mean, look, there's the remote control from the telly. It's so dusty. Yeah. And obviously, they've just recently done the work. And that's not a bad thing. Not necessarily. If it's properly done. Siobhan and Danilo reckon it'll be nice when it's finished, but they're not hanging around. Hungry for our next slice of real estate, we went further afield, to Trinity in the north of the city. It's adjacent to the up-and-coming docks area, which is undergoing redevelopment, and it's some three and a half miles from the city centre. This 20 semi has both a garage and a stunning garden, but initial reactions were far from encouraging. Well, it's a nice bit of pebble dash, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's pebble dash. It could look a lot better if it was, or different if it was painted. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. Could, but essentially it's very ugly. So there's one ugly house. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good start. <laughs> Should we move in? Come, no. on, come, on, come on. And a highly important asset for you. Uh, the garage. Yeah, the garage. Yeah, that's a garage. Not Danilo. So hang on, guys. There's a garage for Danilo and a secluded garden for Siobhan. It's a deceptively large house with two bright, spacious bedrooms. There are also two bathrooms and a separate dining room. And it's great value. It offers over £125,000. It could leave our couple with more than enough to totally revamp the property. There's not as difficult or complicated or expensive work to be done in here no. to transform it. it really and you would still be. have change in your pocket. You've got to use your imagination. You've got to see it as it is. Can you imagine a long wooden floor? Walls painted white. You'd open the whole thing up, you'd probably knock down that wall and have this as an open plan kitchen, dining area, sitting room at the back, brand new bathroom, shower room downstairs. You could make it incredible. Hmm. No. Come on, let's go. Not much room for negotiation there then. So while a garage and a garden are important, they're not the only considerations. They want style and that's what they're going to get in our next property, in bundles. It's just a short walk away, but a very different proposition. We're still in the Trinity area on Laverock Bank Road, which leads right down to the Firth of Forth. This Victorian villa was designed by Hippolyte Blanc, who created some of the interiors at Edinburgh Castle. It's got everything they want, but style doesn't come cheap. At offers over £195,000, it's going to stretch their budget. So we'd expect it to be in walk-in condition. This is my favourite house. OK. Shut the door. This is quite a special house. Because mm. this is a corner house, mm. it has windows on three sides. So not only do you have this huge bay here, but you have this window as well, as which well. is an added bonus. And that spectacular fireplace. It is. It's beautiful, isn't mm. it? And the corner sing. Come and see mm. the rest of the house. Mm. Look, okay. and here, uh-huh. <laughs> yes, stunning. Dining room, second sitting room, mm. whatever you want. It's Another beautiful. amazing fireplace. If I was going to encapsulate a dream house, this would probably thus far be it. Really? <laughs> really? Unfortunately. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? <laughs> moving on, moving on, see the rest of the dream house. And there's even more upstairs. Three spacious bedrooms and a special treat for Kirsty. This is my favourite room. Are you going to come and have a look, Siobhan? OK. We'll leave you to it and we'll go in the big my room. My word. 
It's lovely, isn't it? It's very impressive it's, bathroom. It's a beautiful bathroom. I've never seen a bathroom with cornice like this and everything. No. And it's got even this little seat, look, with toweling on it, so you can sit down when you're wet and just sort of, you the know... Apply one's body lotion. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then another really well-proportioned room. It's a lovely big room. Big enough for you, enough storage. And the master bedroom's got its own ensuite too. We're spoiled for choice. What do you make of this then, Daniel? This is very nice. Beautifully fitted out. There isn't a huge amount of work surface mm -hmm. or, in fact, storage space, which is why they've got this freestanding here. So far, so good. It's expensive, but it's in great condition. However, you can't restore a classic car in a fitted kitchen. Now, ever since we arrived in this house, Danilo's eyes have been flickering to the garage. So let's have a look. Now, come in here. Prime real estate, wouldn't oh, you say? Excellent. This yeah. is what we're really <laughs> after. More like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit on the small side. Hmm. For Danilo, the garage is everything. But is it big enough? And where's Siobhan's garden? This is your sun trap patio. Mm -hmm. It's not a garden, you can't even pretend that it is. No, that's true. So, it's not exactly a lawn, but Siobhan, at least, might be willing to compromise. The words love at first sight have come to mind. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Yes, I think she absolutely loves it. <laughs> She's smitten, but something tells me he's not. Of the four we've seen, the house at Lavrock Bank Road is streets ahead. But can we find them the garage and the garden they want into the bargain?